the Mississippi Rental Agreement. In this video, we will tell you about the most noteworthy aspects of rental agreements in the state of Mississippi. What is a rental agreement? A rental agreement, or a lease, is a document that outlines the arrangement between two parties regarding a property rental. The one who's paying rent is called a tenant, while the owner of the property, who lets the other party use it under certain conditions, is called a landlord. The parties may also be called a lesser and lessee. Typically, a rental agreement lasts for 6 or 12 months, with rent being paid every month or every week. There is one federal disclosure that works for all lease agreements in the United States. This is called the lead disclosure, and it requires the landlord to tell the tenant about all known lead paint hazards. They should also provide the state approved version of the pamphlet, protect your family from lead in your home. However, this requirement applies to not all types of residential dwellings. Required disclosures. Apart from the above mentioned disclosure, all disclosures in the state of Mississippi are optional. However, it is wise to include them in the rental agreement to reduce future conflicts and legal liability for both of the parties. Security deposits. According to the Mississippi general laws, the maximum security deposit is completely up to the landlord. The landlord should return the security deposit within 45 days after the termination of the tenancy, delivery of possession, and demand by the tenant. The landlord can use the deposit to pay unpaid rent or repair any property damages caused by the tenant after sending them an itemized list of damages and their costs. If the landlord fails to return the security deposit, they may be liable for damages not to exceed $200 in addition to any actual damages. Landlord Access The landlord should send to the tenant an advance notice of intent before entering the rented dwelling to conduct an inspection, make repairs, or supply services. But Mississippi law doesn't state a specific time frame for sending such a notice. Emergency cases allow the landlord to enter the residence without the tenant's consent. Termination of agreement. In case of year-to-year -year tenancy, at least a two-month notice is required by Mississippi law by either of the parties. For a month-to-month -month tenancy, at least a 30-day notice is needed. If a lease is week-to-week, -week, at least a seven-day notice is required. Notices for non-payment and non-compliance. If the tenant fails to pay rent, the landlord should send at least a three-day written notice to either pay or quit. If there is another breach of the rental agreement by the tenant or by the landlord, at least a 14-day notice is required by Mississippi law.